during lockdown, I've been doing a lot of gardening. I planted lettuces and bok choy in this old bath. I found this bath on the side of the road. Someone had thrown it away. It makes an excellent garden. Those bok choy and lettuces are probably about two weeks away from being ready to eat. My spring onions have been going. I think these same spring onions come up every year, been going for about six years. And there's even capsicum still going very late in the season, but it's been quite warm. These are a bunch of uh, 12 broccolis that I grew from seeds and I'm about to plant them in this new garden bed that I've just dug and filled with compost. Over here I've got some courgettes still coming along nicely. They're very late in the season as well but I'm still getting courgettes off them. These are some very big broccolis and a couple of cauliflowers at the front and two lettuces left. I've eaten four of the lettuces already. These broccolis are a few months old. My spinach is doing very nicely. I've only eaten one so I need to do a lot more eating to get rid of the rest of that spinach. Down here I've done heaps of weeding, pulling out weeds. All this untidy looking ground was covered in weeds before it took me about two hours to pull them all out. Now it's nice and clean. And over here I've cut down a whole tree, planted a new tree, cleaned up lots of rubbish. This is a little grapefruit tree that I grew from a seed been sitting in a tub until now and I've just put it in the ground after cutting down this old tree which was being a nuisance it made too much mess I think the next door neighbours will be very happy because it was making a lot of mess over their side of the fence there's another little tree I planted it has nice purple sort of coloured flowers and these two plants were buried under all the rubbish under the other old tree that I cut down now they've been repotted and tidied up and this is where I've been dumping all my rubbish from cutting huge pile of branches I'm going to go through all this pile over the next few weeks and cut it up into little bits so it can go into the garden bag that gets collected every month more branches all down here masses of branches I'm going to cut up most of these have come from the tree I cut down plus the front yard I've cut a lot of trees a lot more piles of branches and some bamboo as well down here and a huge clean up here these piles here there's about a cubic meter in each pile although you can't really tell from this angle but it took me an entire day to make each of those piles. I cut some trees down in through here and all this concrete wall here was completely hidden under piles of growth. It's the first time I've seen it for about five years I think. I put all these broken up chopped up bits of leaves and things into a garden bag that gets collected once a month so it'll probably take three or four months refilling and emptying it and the glass house has had a mess of clean up all the glass I took off scrubbed it all down washed it scraped it and put it all back in again it had never been done in about its 40 years since it was built I think some of the glass was only held in place by all the lichen and mold growing on it tidied up all the cactuses can see the neighbor's house now and see out the roof that you couldn't see out at all before I've thrown away some of the old dead cactuses and stuff and tidied up a lot so I've got space here I'm going to start growing some vegetable seedlings in here soon it's the yakon that was two metres tall this time last year. Now it's only a few inches tall because we've had a drought. Almost no rain now for three, four months. 
you know, the neighbours over there are very happy. It's much more light getting onto their house now. Out in the front yard here, I've cut heaps off these trees, although they don't look much different. But those two trees were joined in like a big archway across the top of the drive before, now they've been separated. And this tree was all up tangled around the power line, so I cut a whole lot off that so the power line's not getting caught in it. This tree that looks dead was about two meters tall. I've cut about two meters off the top. It's not actually dead, it's actually perfectly alive. It'll grow a whole lot of new green bits on it soon. Nice clear space down the drive where it was all covered in branches joined across there before. And even the house I've washed all down this wall was all green and black slime sort of stuff algae type stuff growing on it now it's been all been scrubbed and washed it's now all nice and clean and shiny